Today we'll take a look at my Sega Genesis controllers I've collected over the years. 19 different styles to be exact and we will rank them all from worst to best. You'll see plenty of wired controllers along with a few wireless, a couple arcade sticks, and one controller without a d-pad. Let's check them out. We'll start with the worst of the lot here, the Ricoton 6 button turbo controller. Below average d-pad and questionable button placement give this one bottom spot on the list. This controller had no d-pad, instead we used the Turbo Touch 360 pad, hence the name. It does work, however not as reliable as you'd like when playing, well, anything. Long narrow design is fairly uncomfortable on the Champ PowerPad 100. And although the buttons are placed nicely, they just aren't the greatest, and same can be said for the D-pad. Without all of the turbo controls or other gimmicks, the Ricoton standard 3-button controller is decent at best, but the D-pad and buttons are fairly quality. The HAP Controls Competition Pro has much better design than the PowerPad 100, but the buttons and D-pad could be better quality, that's for sure. The next two might be preference based, especially if you don't care for the arcade sticks, but the ASCIIWare Power Clutch SG is built very well, with awesome buttons and arcade stick, along with a bunch of quality turbo switches to mess around with. A step up from the Power Clutch SG, we check out the ASCIIWare Fighter Stick SG6. Built just as well, but I feel this one has a better design and also has 6 buttons as opposed to 3. Not the best 6 button pad, but also not the worst. The Performance Gamepad 6 has a comfortable design, D-pad, and button quality is okay. And it does have 6 buttons. The Docks replace a pad is just solid overall, I guess. D-pad and buttons are quality, along with solid placement. It's basically just as good as the original Genesis 3-button controller. The wireless 6-button Sega Genesis controller feels great and everything is just as quality in the build compared to a wired 6-button pad. But the wireless sensor itself isn't the greatest and you won't be able to sit more than 5 feet from your TV without losing connection. The classic 3 button Sega Genesis controller, one of the best controllers made on any console, and only a handful of games truly require the 6 button pad. Other controllers feel better for sure, but this one is tried and true. The sensor on this controller and the quality of the build are both top notch. The wireless GO camera controller has a camera looking sensor, and the controller itself has a sleek, comfortable design and just quality all around. You'll be able to sit a good 6 to 12 feet from your TV with confidence with this one. The wireless Acclaim controller is just as good as the Go camera controller in every way. I just like the feel slightly more. But I would say the sensor is just as good as far as distance goes. The Honeybee Smart 16 Turbo has a similar design to the standard 3 button Sega Genesis pad, but has 6 buttons with the turbo option. Maybe also a preference thing compared to the Honeybee, but the Champion 6 button turbo pad is great. Might be my favorite turbo pad overall. The controller itself feels a bit better, and the red buttons feel very nice for some reason. Different brand for the Champ PowerPad Plus, but looks very similar to the Champion 6 button in every way. But also in every way, I feel the D-pad and buttons feel that much better overall. The SG ProPad 2 is pretty cool in that it offers digital processing. Pretty sure you can save a few different button layouts like you can do now on your Xbox One or PS4 controller. Also, quality all around, but the design is great and quite ahead of its time. The 6 button replacement pad is amazing. This thing has all the functionality and comfortability of the Sega Genesis 6 button pad, just slightly smaller. 
but honestly the d-pad is built better it's the best d-pad i've ever seen of this era might actually be my favorite overall but the whole size thing is a preference i guess and of course on top of the list we have the sega genesis six button controller what isn't good about this controller also compared to the six button replacement pad the Sega Genesis 6 button also has the addition of the menu button on the back, which is used in like 3 games maybe. But that's about it for my list of controllers currently. If you have any Sega Genesis controllers that you didn't see in the video working or non-working, and you'd like to donate them, hit me up in the comments or on Twitter at RetroSundayYT, as I'm looking to collect every Sega Genesis controller released. As always, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and get that scum!